Today, CapCut is definitely the most trendy video editor for influencers and video creators. One reason that explains this is how easy it is to make captions and subtitles on the platform. In this video, I'm going to walk you through three ways to do CapCut subtitles. The manual way for short videos and for free, the only way for free to do it on CapCut. The automatic way with CapCut's AI to save time. And the professional way with an advanced subtitle editor for longer and more complex projects. At the end of it, you get a way clearer picture on how to do CapCut subtitles, whatever your experience level or the complexity of your video project. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Let's start by the manual way to do captions on CapCut, which involves the text feature. Until recently, you could use the auto caption for free on CapCut, but now you have to get the paid pro plan to do it. This manual way I'm going to show you here is sadly the only way to do subtitles for free on CapCut now. So how to do it? So you go to the CapCut editor, you drag and drop your video, and then simply you go to the text section and you add a text. Okay, so you can of course uh, help yourself with the speech analyzer under there to see where your speech is, of course, also by AI watching video. Well. So here with AI dubbing. dubbing. So I'm gonna put it like this. With AI dubbing. I'm gonna, of course, if you click on the title, on the text, you can change the text. So here with AI dubbing. And then you do the same for the, the, the remaining speech of your video. So here, gone are the days of tedious and expensive. Gone are the days of tedious. Okay, so now you have that here. You can, of course, format your uh, subtitles in a different way, put it lower, you have some colors, that you, some style I can change, like this, maybe it's better, and you can do it uh, for the others, I think you can copy past, then the same, the same style. To, to do it faster. Just like that. Okay, so now that's almost the only way you can do it for free for ca in CapCut. So as I, as I said, um, there's no other way right now. Uh, there's, there's one way, but you have to upload your SRT file um, into CapCut. So for example, you could just upload your video into YouTube and um, then YouTube is gonna give you, gonna make you able to download your SRT file from the auto transcription in YouTube and put it into, into CapCut. For example, here, I have uh, one uh, that I get from here, but as you can see, it's quite weird. Like um, the synchronization is not that good. Like there's two lines going together. So I don't know why it happens like that, but yeah, it makes things very messy. So it's not something I would recommend to do. Of course, the things, the thing I would recommend you to do is the next uh, approach, which is the automatic approach. Okay, now let's talk about the automatic way to do CapCut subtitles. As I've told you, CapCut gives you access to the auto caption feature if you paid the pro plan. Um, let's see how it works here. So you go to the CapCut editor, you drag and up your video, and then you go to the caption section. You are in the caption section. So here you can choose the language that you want to get for your subtitles. So you can here just get the same language than your video, so English, or you can also do translated captions. So for example, uh, bilingual, bilingual captions like in French or something like that. So here we're just gonna keep it in English. 
so it's generated quite fast so you don't have to wait any any time it's already done as you can see there's a lot of captions that are quite synced in with the speech um, there's some typos here and there so the, the transcription is not optimal it's not perfect so you have to make uh, quite a lot of changes i have to say less of quality than other tools you can find on the market but it's, it's quite good uh, so to do that you go to the caption uh, window here um, to change uh, for example the text so to do that of course you just check it by yourself while playing so here as you can see with ai dubbing gone so the um, Alignment of the subtitles, uh, how the subtitles are are made is not quite good. So here, as you can see, it jumps uh, from one subtitle to the other uh, with one word, like in the middle of a sentence. So that's not really good. But um, you can you can keep it like this if you want. Uh, with it either being gone, other days of this. Okay. So yeah, you can change uh, the, the text in every in every uh, captions like this. Um, if you want to format uh, the subtitles to make it look better and engaging, um, it's your luck because CapCut has a lot of templates. Subtitle templates are really, really nice and catchy for the eyes. Um, I think it's one of the best library of subtitle templates I can find uh, in the market. I have to say, I have to agree. There's especially this one, which is really good. Um, as you can see. Uh, the emojis are personalized to the speech of the video so that's really really nice um yeah as you can see of your video and then there's this emoji that appears so it's really really good um so you can you can try it um there's some problems from time to time in terms of synchronization but that's that's quite good um yeah so that's how you can edit the subtitles if you want now to export the subtitles so there's two ways, of course, you can just keep it like that and export the video uh, with the subtitles. Uh, or you can just go here, captions, and you put the format that you want and you get just the SRT captions uh, just as you want. Okay, so then that's perfect. Uh, you, you can do it like this. But I have to say also, if you want to do a longer video, if you want to do a movie, something like very high quality, with more complex audio to handle. I have to say that it's not the best tool that you can use to subtitle the video. There's other tools that are more professional and allows you to do it with an editor that is more precise to make the edit of your subtitles. And I'm gonna show you this tool, but for like social media videos, just some podcasts, I mean, it's, it's quite okay to work on with CapCut. But the next tool I'm, I'm gonna present you here, the professional tool is also quite good. So let's see how it works. So let's talk now about this professional way to do CapCut subtitles. The tool is called CheckSub and you can access it at checksub.com. So you go there, you click on login, you register an account there. Um, you, you, you get access to a free trial uh, that will give you access to free credits to subtitle your video. So then you, you can upload your project. Um, so the project is uploaded now. It's quite fast, as you can see. Then you choose, of course, the language uh, that you want to subtitle here. Just going to keep the same language. And um, you can already choose a template style. So for example, I'll choose this one. And uh, let's, let's wait a bit. Now you get access to the ShakeSub subtitle editor. And as you can see, the transcription is, is, is quite of good quality. There's no mistake. I think uh, uh, that you can see here, all the, the speech is well uh, transcribed. Um, that's, that's, that's good. Uh, there's, there's even some words that are improved in a way because I said synced in and it puts synchronized. So actually that comes from the AI enhancement uh, feature uh, in CheckSub. So there's like a, an LLM that will automatically proofread the subtitles, uh, make them better, especially the alignments, so that they're always uh, short and easy to read. Uh, the subtitle sections are not too long. So that's really good. And that's a really nice feature. I think that's why it's definitely a tool that, that brings the most high quality subtitles out there. 
for the moment. So there's this, and if there's any uh, small typo mistake, uh, you can always correct that directly into the subtitle editor. Uh, so you can, for example, just change cut the section. As I can see, uh, it's still very well synchronized. You can also go to the custom style section and change in very detailed manner uh, any kind of uh, font or weight or family uh, font. Uh, the color you can change anything uh, here you can also add animation also of course so yeah a very detailed customization and when you've done with that you can go to export and you can uh, export the video with burning subtitles by clicking on with subtitles here or you can uh, export uh, SRT uh, subtitles uh, the BTT SRT subtitles uh, so that's, that's really great and of, also, of course, there's also the, the option to import some uh, VFTT file that you already have. So to do that, you have to get back. Get back to the tool, uh, go to new project. Uh, so you upload your video again. And you go to import uh, SAT file. And then you can export or just pass uh, your, your script. So that's really also a really useful feature. And um, yeah. As you can see, it's uh, quite a, a convenient and easy to use uh, a tool, especially for long videos. So to really get more professional um, editing uh, into your subtitles. So that's it. That's all the three ways that you can do CapCut subtitles. So the manual way and the only remaining free way uh, that you can add CapCut subtitles with the text feature, an automatic way with the auto caption feature that you, that you have to pay uh, to access to it. But it's actually really good if you want easy, a simple title job. And then there's the uh, professional way with checks up, so really advanced and detailed uh, subtitle editor. So based on all this information, I hope it will help you make a clear decision about which tool you want to use for your CapCut subtitles and uh, otherwise I'll see you on the next video.